the world's first flying car. Oh. Here it is. Well, it's a flying car. The world's first flying car is now being handmade in California. And this right here, see all the dust and see all like the air being blown up, is exactly why I think I'm convinced that this is, um, pardon the pun, never going to take off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's just been, that's been the argument, you know? Aleph Aeronautics, a U.S. startup, has started building its electric flying car, the Model A, by hand in California, becoming the first company to put a drive-and-fly car into production. The flying car can drive on regular roads and can take off vertically to fly with around a 220-mile driving and 110-mile flying range. Apparently, the startup has already received 3,500 hundred pre-orders which is a lot considering that the flying car is expected to start at around three hundred thousand dollars but there are a couple of small problems that are not included in our notes that are kind of hilarious as cool as it would be to dunk on the cyber truck by literally flying over it it looks so sketchy have you watched this yes i have i just watched it it looks so sketchy <laughs> and the wheels are so thin <laughs> it's like oh man uh they, I, I feel like they just put like a like a fiberglass frame on a like high carrying capacity drone a detail that was overlooked is that at this time it can only take off from and land at airports so like oh. <laughs> what is the f***ing point of it The whole idea behind flying car, like the whole connotation of car is that you park it at your house and you like drive it to work or you go get groceries and you like park at well, your you house could, you again. You can drive to the airport and then and then not like have to get out and get into a plane. You can drive to the airport and then just leave, <laughs> take off from the airport. <laughs> that sounds pretty great. You can drive 220 miles with a 110 mile flight range. Wow. So it's only half the, that's actually, like, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Less than a year. Da, 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 da. Um, I haven't seen it drive. Have you seen it drive? Is there a video of it driving? I've only seen it somewhat sketchily fly. I don't think I've seen it drive. As soon as I found out that it's slow, has crappy range, <laughs> is expensive, has all the issues of any other personal flying vehicles, with, with the big one being, I forget what it's called, washout or something like that. Basically, yeah. the displacement of air that they need is so big, and the propellers that they can accommodate for any kind of VTOL functionality are so small that they have this like tiny cone that basically blows away anything anywhere near them. Like There is, with... The laws of physics being what they are, as far as I can tell, no reasonable path to driving one of these from your front driveway to your parking lot at work. They would blow so much crap around on the parking lot that you'd be denting and scratching everyone's car that you're anywhere near. People would hate it. They're so loud. Um, much larger propellers can help with the, the high-pitched noise and all of that, but you still have to deal with all that air displacement in order to lift this, like, hundreds of pounds vehicle plus whatever people and cargo that you want to carry in it. Like, it's just, it's just not going or to happen, Or you could buy seems. a really nice, really sweet car to drive to the airport and then get in your own just, like, experimental Onyx craft. Kit. That thing looks pretty sick. What's the side impact crash rating on this flying car? <laughs> For sure, just nothing. <laughs> the crumple zone is you. <laughs> like, come on. You are expected to crumple your, your along bones. with the car. Yeah. It's just going to absorb the impact. It's just going to hit the batteries. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, come on. <laughs> Oh, very fun, very cool, very good. Looks cool. Very they nice. go out of their way, it seems, to make it really hard to see how skinny yeah. chicken these Dude, they're tires so, are. Dude, they're so narrow. Oh, man. Um, 
Yeah, you can see them there. <laughs> yeah. They look like wheelbarrow tires. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. So this is... Damn, dude. Yeah, this is... You said they got pre-orders? Apparently. That's, that's the craziest part that's to That's what it says in the notes. I mean, working on this is cool. I actually have no issue okay, with that Okay, so all. we just had a huge long conversation with the audience about ignorance. Remember? Not everybody is an engineer. And a lot of people would think, oh, well, you know, they got, I forget what body they got approval from, but they, they like are making progress to this being a product that they actually ship. Um, and so if I heard that they got their, yeah, airworthiness certification from the FAA, they got an airworthiness certification. That's huge. That's huge. Right? So I'd be like, oh yeah, flying car. I see this picture. I go, I mean, what? Yeah, 300 grand? I mean, that's that's only that's only 10 times the price of a car that doesn't fly. <laughs> right? That, <laughs> it has so many more degrees of freedom. That's so good. Um, Honestly, if they just never released this video, I feel like they'd do better. Well, they've been doing pretty good up till now. They got their pre-orders. And yeah, not everybody not everybody's an engineer. So, yeah, I could see people pre-ordering it if they just don't do the math. Like it wasn't until for me too that I came across like a, a really good article. I wish I could find it so that I could bring it up. I read it and then I like kind of lost it and then I never saw it again. Uh, but it was a really good article that basically kind of walked me through the math of how this is just like kind of fucking impossible. And they're like, at the end of it, they're like, look, don't, don't short it because, you know, you can't stay, they'll stay irrational longer than you'll stay solvent or whatever. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm not saying you should like short these companies and try and make a bunch of money on their downfall or whatever. I'm just saying, don't invest in them. Don't pre-order this stuff because this ain't happening. This is not happening. I'm like, oh, okay. Bummer. Cause that'd be awesome. Like I'd be you know, so it, down. I, I hope that, you know, they got their, their flight worthiness thing, whatever. I hope that it ends up being awesome. Cause like, why not? Yeah. I just, that video wasn't awesome. Does not make it look good, <laughs> but Hey, I mean, all power to them. Good luck. Oh, whoa. cool.